Hey cuties, I'm Lanikia and you're watching what happened on the soaps. This is General Hospital Edition. All right, guys, let's jump right into it. On a scale of one to 10, I'm going to give it an eight. It was good to me today. Um, so today is Thursday, April the 20th, 2023. Okay, first of all, this would make it rate low right here. Now, listen, I'm going to tell you the truth. Nobody gives a care about ELQ. I'm just going to be honest with you. I don't care. Um, this hasn't, EOQ has not been relevant for years. Um, and I agree with Brooklyn. I would not take this from Valentin while he is, att his attention is somewhere else because once he turns that back around, he's coming for you. <laughs> but we'll see what happens there. And honorable mention. So then Carly and Nina get into it, right? Because Nina says, I'm here now. I can watch um, Avery. And Carly says, uh-uh. And Nina says, what? You think I'm going to do something to Avery? You don't trust me? Anyways, child, they end up getting into it. And Nina blames Carly for her not having a relationship or being invited to the wedding. And she said, uh, you know, because Sonny, Sonny, what you told him, you got, you gave him permission, Michael permission to invite Sonny. And Carly was like, Sonny was invited? And Nina said, oh, you didn't know? Oh, wait, what? He didn't, and Michael didn't run to you for permission to invite his father? and." Carla was like, I'm glad Michael's doing, um, Sonny is finally doing what he's supposed to do, which is put his family um, over you. And Nina's like, girl, I want Sonny to have a relationship with Michael. So then they start talking about Nina not being invited. And she said, it's because of you. You told him not to. I said, now, Nina, you know you my girl, but no, that's not <laughs> That's not it, child. And so Carly said, no, it's because of you. You harassed Willow while she was pregnant. You accused her of having an affair. You were mean to her when she was Charlotte's teacher. Like everything is has been you, Nina. And then she says, so all of this is to blame for you. And Nina says, well, Carly, you are the one that Willow, reason why Willow is sick is she only has days left because you wouldn't tell who her mother was. And she said that. I, as soon as I found out she had leukemia, I told her, she said, no, 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 no. You should have told her at the beginning. And then Aunt Liesl could have got, um, had the transplant done. And all of this would have done, been done months ago. And Carly said, you know what? I didn't tell her. I didn't tell her because she said if her mama ended up being somebody like you, she would not want to know. And Nina said, that might be all true. But now she only has days left. And that's on you because you didn't tell. Whether Willow wanted to know or not, you didn't tell. And so her days left. They're blaming each other. Not, neither one of them is taking ownership of what they both did. Oh, child, I can't. So then um, we see that Portia is with Ava and she tells her that uh, Trina was not kidnapped. She snuck on there running after Spencer. And when she gets back, as soon as she comes back, she'll make sure that she never sees him again. I said, now, Portia, listen, uh, mama is growing closer to Spencer on this adventure. This is Luke and Laura. Child, you can't stop this. <laughs> now, you know, I, I like Ava and Portia, but not the one of y'all going to be able to stop Trina from being around Spencer because this is just making them grow closer. This little adventure that they're on, everything that's happened, baby, you might as well get ready for Spencer to be um coming around the house because she loves her some Spencer. But anyways, Portia's just upset because of the, you know, the, Trina's she doesn't know what's happening to her. She doesn't know if she's still safe. They haven't heard from her anymore. And so she's just worried. Ava tells her she's um resourceful, you know, and she's a tough young lady, so she'll be okay. But let her know if anything else happens. They talk about Curtis and Portia says she can't go home because Curtis is, is there, uh, isn't there. You know, she don't want to be alone. And she can't work because she can't focus. And Ava just says everything will be all right with Curtis. This should go, you know, go down close. And I said, girl, no, it ain't doing nothing but anyway it's child so then ava goes home and she tells carly you know how's Ava? you know she's asking her is there any update she says no there's not an update or anything like that what you got mama and she says okay and then she says uh nina was here and she says how did that go and she said next time you want to give me some advice don't and ava was like oh oh well, oh well hey i tried oh a child she was like oh well i tried and so that was the end of that right um, so then Nina in the car and she thinking about everything that Carly told her. And then she started thinking about her conversation with Ava when Ava was like, that's inside of trading with Carly and Drew Nam did if she bought that Aurora stock. And Nina said, maybe it's time for that. Uh, what'd she say? St. Timonius switch to go on and pay. I said, whoop. Sometimes you got to leave people alone. If they have information on you, which they thought she might Nina had, sometimes you got to just 
take one for the team. So Nina for the uh tail. Anyway, so then we go over here with Drew and Curtis, and they are trying to figure out, um, Curtis, can you remember anything? Curtis can't, I mean, Curtis, Drew, can you remember anything? Drew say he can't remember anything, but they he does, um, he, he can't remember. That's all it was. He can't remember. Um, he tells him, you know, you sound like a proud dad because Curtis was just talking about how brave Trina is. And he said, she sounds like you and you sound like a proud dad. Then Portia comes up because uh, Curtis says, any, another call from Trina. She says, I didn't even know you're here, but no, I haven't heard anything else from her. And then they started talking about, you know, where could Victor be taking him? And then Drew says, I, I have, uh, there is one person that might know. So then we go over here to Victor, um, Trina and Spencer, because you know, Trina got caught. So Victor told them how he laid the trap for Trina to get caught. He said, Once they walkie talkie was missing and all that, I started to think maybe I had a stowaway, and here you come. And uh, Trina tells Spencer, I'm so sorry. And he said, Girl, you ain't got to be sorry about anything. You had for 24 hours, you had these morons uh running around. I said, Spencer just don't care who he talk about in front of what who whomever. And so, anyways um he brings victor brings liesel in right and he tells um he tells her that she was like what is she doing here she pretended like she didn't know trina was on the boat and he was like she was a stowaway or whatever and so he he takes liesel to the side and he starts talking to her right and so trina um and spencer talk and she's just telling him i'm so sorry about um everything and he says it's fine we're gonna find our way out of this we're gonna do something and so then the next thing you know um liesel is talking to victor and he's asking her you know have you looked at it have you how's your reading been going have you found a way and she said she he was like so are you she was like it's gonna be it would be difficult he says so you're telling me you don't know how to do it like come up with a vaccine or something and she said nah i know and i said liesel but it's a good thing she did say that because baby the next thing you know victor got the, them all on the ship on the outside on the deck and everything and he tells spencer join me and spencer said no i'm not gonna help you in the world now no i'm not gonna do that and he said all right then throw trina over baby trina put her legs on that rail she said uh-uh uh-uh i'm not going overboard so spencer said fine 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 i'll join you i'll join you i'll do whatever you say and he says oh now you want to work with me and he says well I, this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna let you both go overboard together and so Lisa's seeing this and she told victor what are you doing like leave them alone i need guinea pigs and you know i'm gonna have to have someone to test my vaccines on and he said well um Lisa just saved you and he was like what what are you up to with this and she pretending like she don't give a care about none of them um after brit's death um brita's death she you know she's only half living and this is the only thing that gave her a little bit of excitement um and so she she convinces victor to let trina and spencer live and then she told victor and another thing i want them healthy so you gotta feed them because i need um uh, i want them help healthy and not abuse and stuff so she really she's saving them yeah. right hey mama hey yeah so really she's saving them right and so um spencer tells trina i don't know how we're gonna get out of this but we're gonna get out of this and brits has just bought us some time but if you listen victor said we're gonna make it in the morning because they tell him the ship is gonna be up and running in an hour and so he said you only bought yourself a little bit of time we'll be at that bunker you all right mama we'll be at mikos's bunker in um by the morning so y'all that was it. that was general hospital today let me go because this girl that was general hospital today thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel and i will see you tomorrow for an all new episode the final episode of the week of what happened on the soaps general hospital edition goodbye